I have expressed my con concerns about Pensacola in the past, and of course the subject of Toronto as well. But I read for a second time an article that was penned by Michael L. Brown, the author of Answering Jewish Objections to Jesus. Now, first of all, I harbour no resentment or hatred towards Michael Brown or any unkind malice towards him. But I don't understand how such a learned man could even think that Lou Engel and Mike Bickle are even remotely men of God. I've also read F Fred Butler's response to Brown, with Brown writing to Butler afterwards. I just cannot see how Brown could be a participant of, with Brownsville anyway, considering John Kilpatrick is guilty of false prophecy. Not just once, but he's a repeat offender regarding this. I was also shocked about Bickle and Engel's connection to the Kansas City Prophets, and of course I have expressed concerns about John Paul Jackson in a previous video. I knew Jacob Prash had spoken out against Bickle, and I recognised the names, but I had forgotten why Bickle was condemned, and now I know why. There may have been cases of repentance being preached at Brownsville, considering I have watched Brown preaching repentance and the judgement of God, but how does this absolve or justify strange manifestations that have been occurring within the confines of a church itself. There are testimonies from Brownsville that I'm happy to post in the description that speak about the manifestations and the experiences that occurred in the revivals themselves. What I can say in this video is for Michael Brown to reconsider his position regarding Brownsville and call him to repent from defending it. That is my admonition which the Lord has put on my heart. Thanks for taking the time to watch.